Hi guys, so part of joining this Think to Thrive program, one of the main things that you wanted to resolve or to improve in your life is stress. We know it's a problem for many, many people. Now, stress comes in many different forms, but we've put together a fun and helpful solution that's going to help you move through stress or at least become better at managing stress. Now, it's a simple format that you can follow and with my, along with my friend Tony here, we're going to share that fun solution with you now. We certainly are. Are you ready? So the solution we have for your stress problems, for the world's stress problems, is this. Help is at hand. Just remember that. Our 10 point stress buster help is at hand. So, what do we mean? We're gonna run through the 10 letters that's gonna help you understand how you can manage stress, become more effective at managing stress, and understand that moving forward, as you begin to think to thrive in a more convenient, more helpful way, moving you towards your dreams and desires, that stress doesn't have to be the thing that keeps you bogged down and keeps you sad and keeps you unhappy. So, we're gonna start. Number one. Hold back. So, what do we mean by hold back? Now often, we as busy people, parents, husbands, wives, sisters, uncles, we struggle to say that key word, which is no. Someone asks you to do something, you say yes. Someone asks you to go somewhere, you say yes. You've got to be at this meeting, you say yes. So moving forward, you know, to help to reduce those levels of stress, you're gonna to start to say, no, you're gonna hold back. You're gonna say, no, I can't really do that right now. It's gonna just ease and take out that tension of you having to be and doing everything all the time. Just learn to say no. It's a powerful word and sometimes you might feel guilty, but just learn to say no. <clears throat> okay, number two, straightforward, but it really does help. Now, I'm not gonna go into huge detail, but obviously when you do exercise, exercise pr produces a form of stress on the body. But in the right way, in the consistent way, that is a beneficial stress that's gonna help to strengthen your body, it's gonna release energy, as well as produce energy to help move away that stress that you maybe have in your body at the moment. So if you're not exercising, get out and start doing some form of exercise. Doesn't have to be anything overly stressful. Get out in the um, countryside, go for walks, go for a bike ride, swim, take the dog out. Anything that's gonna help to move your body, it's gonna help to uh, create um, energy, and it's also helped to reduce stress as well. So, exercise. So Mike's covered the H and the E in the word help, and I'm now going to cover, as best I can with these, uh, with these fingers, I'm now going to cover the next letter in help, which is simple to remember, it's the word list. And there's two aspects to this. First of all, write out a job list. If you write out a job list of all the things you have to do, and you number them, you get them out of your head, those worries, those concerns, and you get them onto paper. The paper now is owning that stress. It's a great way of getting rid of the stress. Then you, you review your jobs list for that week, for that month, and you highlight the jobs that have to be done now. And you also maybe do a different color for those jobs that maybe can wait till next week. And you just focus then on the jobs that need doing now. That's really powerful. And you know what? I carried a clipboard all the way around uh, when I worked as a teacher. In fact, people used to take the mickey out of me because I was called the Mr. Malik clipboard guy. But I was always walking around with a clipboard with all my jobs on. And I'd sit there and I'd cross off the jobs. But it helped my stress level. The second aspect of list is try to find time to go outside, get a piece of paper and write down a list of things that you can be grateful for. Think of a big number, 15, 20, and sit down and think of 20 things that you're grateful for. That's really powerful at refocusing the mind away from the old idea of stress into a new idea of optimism. The next letter in help, which I'm going to cover, is the letter P. And that stands for process. 
Now Mike and I have got a three-stage process to share with you now, which we use to help ourselves combat stress. And I want you to try and remember this. Watch this video again and again, and you'll, you'll remember it. A three-step process. So first of all, you're at work, you're at home, wherever you are, and you feel yourself starting to get a bit tense in the muscles in the neck. What you do is you catch it with a three-step process. One, catch it. And that means that you stand back and say, whoa, hang on a minute, hang on, this is leading towards stress here. I can feel the muscles tensing up. And you catch it, you nip it in the bud. I love that expression, nip it in the bud. The second stage is you define it. So what you say is, this is stress that I'm falling into now. And if I carry on down this path of saying yes, like Mike was saying to everybody around me, or thinking in a certain way, I'm gonna get a headache or I'm gonna get burnt out. So you define it and then you say to yourself, stress is okay though. Stress is actually part of me as a human being, but it's left over from an ancient time when we were geared to run away from lions and tigers and we were able to survive stress for short periods of time. In the modern world, stress prolonged over a long period of time creates disease and it creates headaches. So it's not good over a long period of time. So you define it. So we started first of all by catch it, define it, and the last bit is you, you, you withdraw. And what, you, what I mean by that is you just imagine yourself floating up into the ceiling or the sky, looking down on your situation and just observe. Oh, look at Tony there, he's getting all worked up. He's doing 10 jobs in the afternoon. Does, does he really need to do all those 10 jobs and get himself worked up? You know what's gonna happen tomorrow, Tony? You're gonna get a headache. You're gonna get stressed out. So you, you observe yourself so powerful at just detachment. So that's my two. And we're up to uh, uh, the A. The A in, um, oh, we're A into the A of at. Ancient art. Sounds intriguing, <laughs> and it is kind of, but it's going back to ancient practices that helps to alleviate and combat stress. So we're talking about things such as meditation, mindfulness, relaxation. So let me ask this question to you. When was the last time you practiced any kind of mindfulness? When was the last time you had a meditation? I went for any kind of meditation. It could be a meditative walk. So necessarily first thing on the morning, sat down for half an hour. It could be going out, thinking nice, relaxing, calming thoughts, listening to music that will help you to relax. Practice the ancient arts on things like meditation, yoga, being kind to yourself, mindfulness, and that will significantly reduce the amount of tension, not only physically feeling in your body, but mentally as well. So that's our tip on ancient arts. Secondly, coming on to this one, I know Tony likes to do this, but <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing that we should do more often, especially in a constructive way. I'm not talking about chattering and gossiping. I'm talking about talk. The saying goes, a problem shared is a problem halved. And I do strongly believe that. You know, if you have an issue, what we have um, issues, we all have issues, but if I have something that's bugging me or something I can't quite get my head around, I know that Tony's only at the end of the phone. I can call him and he's gonna give me a solution. It may be that he doesn't give me a solution, but the fact that I've got him here as a friend, that yeah, I can just sound off, if you like, and share that thought with him will help me to relieve and de um, reduce, should I say, the amount of stress that I'm feeling about that certain situation. So remember, talk to someone, find your friend, find your husband, your wife, your sister, your brother, anyone that you feel that you can confide with, share that issue with. And they may not offer you a solution, but just by talking to them, you'll feel a lot less stressed about that situation. Absolutely, Mike, and you'll release oxytocin chemicals inside the brain, which will actually make yourself feel better. And here's another cool tip, Mike, is use eye contact. Yes. There's now research that say if you look into somebody's eyes when you're talking for a prolonged period of time and listen to what they're saying, build that social connection, it's incredibly good for your health and it's massively important for your stress levels. We are on to...